All right, so what is up, people? So the NBA draft was on yesterday, and today I want to just go over some of the winners and losers of the NBA draft, um, starting off with the Cleveland Cavaliers, who I definitely think they were a winner, picking up um, Andrew Wiggins, the best player in this draft. I heard a lot of commotion of them taking the big man, um, Embiid, but I'm glad they didn't take Embiid and follow the footsteps of Greg Oten and Sam Bowie and other players who had, you know, injury issues and never panned out. I think Wiggins, along with Waiters, along with the backcourt that they have there in Cleveland, is going to be a good fit, and we'll see a nice young team start to come together. Maybe they will, they will rival um, what's going on in Washington. I mean, in the East, it, it's not really that difficult to make it to the playoffs, and maybe this will be the season that we see Cleveland make a push. All right, so for my biggest loser in the NBA draft, I'm going to go ahead and give that to the Boston Celtics because I don't like the moves the Boston Celtics made at all. I thought the moves they made were absolutely silly. They take Marcus Smart instead of taking Julius Randle. I don't agree with that. I don't understand why you have the backcourt that you have right now and you feel the need to add Marcus Smart. And then they take James Young, which... <clears throat> I don't really have a lot of a knock on James Young, but I think they need more help with the big men on that team rather than what they have at the the, the one, two, or the three. I thought the 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 big men on that team are the biggest issues, and that's I, I think that's with, with what they're getting right now. Unless they know something that I don't know. I mean, they could go out and sign a free agent tomorrow or whenever the free agency starts that would completely make this conversation irrelevant. Maybe they just see something. I mean, I think Paul Gasol is a free agent. I mean, if they go out and they sign a, a, a Monroe or a Gasol or, you know, someone that can help them down low, then, you know, I'll, oh, hey, okay, it's irrelevant. If they trade, um, I, I, I'm also hearing whispers of them trading Rajon Rondo, which I, I don't get that. Because I, see, and this is what I'm saying with the Marcus Smart situation. If you don't trade Rondo, you've got Marcus Smart and Rondo, and neither one of them can shoot. So what are you doing unless you're going to bring, do you plan on bringing the number six pick off the bench? That doesn't make sense. I thought Julius Randle would have been a very much a better pick at that spot. But anyway, those are my winner and loser. Uh, you have the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for my loser, I have the Boston Celtics. There's a couple more teams that did well as well. Um, I thought what the Bulls did was great. Um, getting Doug McDermott to add to that team. Um, if you're going to get Carmelo, though, it's gonna, uh, they, they, they kind of do the same thing, even though McDermott is a better shooter. But um, those are my, my winners and losers. Tell me what you feel. Tell me if you feel any team um, that you feel that I left out. And I'll talk to you guys next time right here on Sports Talk with Casual. Deuces.